Hey, this is GoingGear.com, and today we're going to take a look at the three different Phoenix TA lights, the TA21, the TA20, and the TA30. Now, these have mostly the same parts, so we're going to take a look at the TA20, the different parts of it. It's got a forward switch on it, as they all do, so if you lightly press it, it'll turn it on, and then obviously if you click it, it'll leave it on. And then you've got an anti-roll ring and a clip. That's on the TA20 and the TA21. The TA30 doesn't have that. Um, the selector ring right here. You've got the strike bezel on the front and then the LED and the reflector in there. If we open it up, you can see the inside of it. The uh, TA20 and T21 uh, both take two CR123 batteries. The 30 takes three CR123 batteries. So you can see the inside of them, both the, uh, the battery tube and the tail cap there. Go and put the batteries back in, put the tail cap back on. And since the TA20 and the TA30 have the same interface, I'm going to use the TA20 to show you the interface. Um, you're not going to get any more brightness out of the TA30 just because it has more batteries. You're just going to get better runtime. So when you turn it on, the way to switch between the modes is just turn this ring right here. So you have three different brightnesses and then strobe. And you just turn the ring to select between them. The nice thing about that is when you turn it on, you can always make sure it's in the mode that you want. And you can switch between modes even when the light is off. Now the TA21 has even more modes. It has actually nine different brightnesses and then three different flashing modes. So when you turn it on, the ring actually goes all the way around instead of going back and forth like the one on the 20 and the, the uh, 30. So you can just twist the ring and it'll switch between the different brightnesses and your three different flashing modes. All right, let's take these outside and see how they do outside. All right, so we're in my backyard with a pissed off bird. It's about 4 a.m. I guess he's not being very happy about being woken up. Uh, we're going to compare the TA20 and 21 to a 4D mag light since the TA20 uh, and 30 are pretty similar lights. There, so there you go. There's your mag light. Uh, you can see it lights up a decent amount of distance away, but it only lights up what there's, what's there in the center and in the, in the brighter part. Um, you can't really see what much of what's going on around it. So let's try the TA20 first. There you go, you can see that lights up pretty much my entire backyard. It's much brighter, higher quality light that's coming out of it. And then that's on the full on brightness. Let's try the different brightnesses. Of course on the low you can't really see a whole lot. And then there's your strobe. That's your full on brightness right there. Good, good bit of light coming out of that. And then the TA21 is going to be similar light uh, as far as the, the brightest, but you have a lot more settings in between that you can switch between. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can reach me in the comments or at goinggear.com.